The Punjabi salwar is part of the Punjabi suit which is the traditional attire of the Punjab region of the Indian subcontinent. It is known for its lively hues, rich fabrics and embroidery. The suit features three items, a kameez top, salwar bottom, and dupatta scarf. The women's Punjabi salwar suit style has become popular all over the subcontinent and beyond reaching even the remote parts of Ladakh. It is also the national dress for Pakistan. Since the later 1960s, with the Punjabi salwar being used in government offices, the outfit has been a part of Punjabi tradition for centuries, whether as the Southern Kurta Kurdi ensemble or the salwar jaga kameez, kurta combination. The outfit includes the Patiala salwar and the Sariki shalwar suits of the Punjab region. Topic: <laughs> Punjabi suit. The term Punjabi suit refers to the three-piece ensemble comprising the head scarf, kameez and the salwar. However, the term also encompasses the older variety of the Punjabi southern suit which is made up of the head scarf, kurta, kurti and Punjabi southern. <laughs> Punjabi southern and kurta suit Etymology The word southern is derived from the Sanskrit word svasthana, which means tight-fitting trousers which in turn is derived from the Central Asian word samstamni. The southern are trousers cut straight and tight, as opposed to the salwar, which is baggy and can be full of folds. The tight southern is loose to the knees but the loose Punjabi southern is loose to the lower legs and very tight at the ankles. The salwar ends in a band which is loose-fitting. Despite this difference, people use the word southern and salwar interchangeably to describe loose southerns and salwars, with the loose southern resembling the salwar. Prior to the use of the term pajama, the term southern was used. Therefore, the woolen pajamas of Gilgit are also referred to as southern. However, these are not of the Punjabi variety. The churidar pajama was also referred to as the southern. The word sathana was also used in Hindi to describe pajamas. History <inaudible> Southern The use of the Southern in the Punjab region also called Sathana in Punjabi as a survival of the ancient Svasthana. Svasthana referred to a lower garment which can be described as a type of trousers. The Svasthana was in use amongst the rulers in the Mauryan times 322 BCE. Evidence of the use of Svasthana amongst the ruling classes has also been observed in North India during the Kushan Empire between the 1st and 3rd centuries CE. It was noted in use during the Gupta Empire between 4th and 6th centuries CE and during King Harsha's rule during the 7th century CE a version of the Svasthana has been noted in ancient India which sticks to the calves with narrow circumferences of the lower opening. This is similar to the Punjabi Gutana which is loose at the thighs and tightens at the knees and ends at the calves with some versions ending at the knees and the lower legs being naked. This suggests that the use of the southern is indigenous to the Punjab region. Ultimately, however, the Svasthana could have been introduced to ancient India from Central Asia, but its use became popular amongst the general people in the local area during the medieval period, particularly, the 7th century CE. The wearing of the southern and kurta continued to be prevalent during the Mughal period between 1526–1748 CE and has been in use in unbroken succession since ancient times. The National Review 1925 notes that the southern was in much use in the Punjab, generally in white washable cloth but on feast days of rich material such as Lahore silk. The Svasthana was worn with the tunic called Varbana which was tight-fitting. <laughs> Kurta – Kurdi the use of side slits in the straight-cut Punjabi kurta can be traced to the 11th century CE female kurtika worn in parts of North India and was a short shirt, with sleeves extending from the shoulders, to the middle of the body, and had slashes on the left and the right sides. This is the same as the modern straight-cut kurta which has side slits and worn by women in Punjab. In modern usage, a short kurta is referred to as the kurti. However, traditionally, the kurti is a short cotton coat without side slits and is believed to have descended from the tunic of the Shunga period 2nd century BC. 
The local style of kurti also includes the type that flares out around the waist, the traditional Punjabi kurti is front opening and is buttoned. Traditionally, a chain of gold or silver called zanjiri is woven into the buttons. The use of the kurti by women has been noted during the 1600s to the present day. The kurti can be front opening from below the neck to the waist, or cover the back but leave the stomach exposed with some styles fastening at the back. A variation of the kurti, known as a bandi, is sleeveless and is worn as a pullover with no side slits and front opening. A longer version of the bandi is known as a chemise which has a lace around its hem. Both bandi and chemise traditionally have been worn by women indoors. Summer versions are worn as pullovers with no side slits and font opening. The choli is referred to as kurdi in Punjabi which can be half or full sleeved and be hip length. Topic. Design Punjabi women in West Punjab and East Punjab which includes Haryana and Himachal Pradesh traditionally wore the Punjabi southern suit which was made of a head scarf, upper garment and southern. Topic. Types The Punjabi southern is of two types, loose to above the ankles and tight at the ankles, or loose to the knees, and then cut straight and tight to the ankles. Topic. Loose Punjabi Southern It was noted by Albaruni in the 11th century CE that the local drawers are of gigantic proportions. This could point to the loose Punjabi Southern which, unlike the Punjabi Salwar, has multiple pleats and is very baggy with many folds. The Southern can also be arranged in plates. Up to 20 yards of cloth can be used which hangs in innumerable folds. Some varieties, such as those of chakwal, can use between 30 and 40 yards of cloth which are made with overhanging pleats. The material used for the southern is traditionally colored cotton with silk lines going down and is called susi. Susi was manufactured in various places such as Hoshiarpur, Amritsar, Multan and Jang, instead of the Punjabi salwar panche at the bottom of the salwar, which are loose, the Punjabi southern is gathered midway between the knees and the ankles to fit closely to the leg and end in a tight band at the ankles which is what distinguishes the two lower garments. The tight band of the southern is a remnant of the ancient Svasthana trousers which were tight fitting to the thighs. The use of loose material is a local development. The pleats of the southern either gather in circles resembling bangles, or fall vertically to the ankles. As the distinction between the loose Punjabi southern and the baggy salwar rests on the ankle band, some view the loose Punjabi southern as another version of the salwar, with the definition of southern being reserved for the tight Punjabi southern. The loose southern is primarily a female costume, but in some areas, such as Rawalpindi, was worn by men too, which is also called tambi when worn by men. The loose southern was also worn by men in Banu Khyber Pakhtunkhwa which has historical and cultural connections with the rest of the Punjab region. Topic: <laughs> Tight Punjabi Southern. The tight Punjabi southern is a variation of the ancient Svasthana and was still popular in the Punjab region in the 19th century. The tight southern is baggy from the knees up and tight from the knees down to the ankles a remnant of the tight-fit ancient svasthana. The tight southern remained popular in the East Punjab into the 1960s. In Multan, the tight southern remained popular till the early 21st century. The Punjabi southern is part of male and female attire and is part of traditional dress in the hills of Punjab, Pakistan, including Banu. It is still a traditional garment in Jammu where it is held in high regard. The Gadi community wear the garment, especially in Pathankot and Nirpur Gurdaspur district. Its variation known as the Churidar Southern is worn in the Punjab mountainous region especially by the Gujar community in the foothills of Punjab, India, and Himachal Pradesh whereby the upper part is loose but below the knees, the tight part is sewn in folds to create a bangles look. When worn in Jammu, the Southern is referred to as Dagri Pants or Dagri Southern. This is the basis of the Churidar pajama, which in the Punjab region is also known as the full-length gutana which was adopted in Lucknow during the 19th century. Where the Churidar southern is tight up to the knees and wide above, the Churidar pajama is tight below the calves and slightly loose above. The waist fits closer than the southern. 
In the late 19th century, the slim line riding breeches known as Jodhpuri, were developed along the lines of the tight fitting Punjabi southern, albeit the churidar is cited as an inspiration. Since the creation of India and Pakistan, women of the Mio community of Rajasthan have adopted the salwar called kusni, which, like the Punjabi southern, is tight below the knees and loose above and is worn with a long kameez. Upper garments Punjabi women wore the southern with a kurta, kurti, kameez or jaga. The kurti could be straight cut ending at the waist or be a mini version of the anga, which ia a gown flowing to below the knees and even to the ankles akin to the anarkali also known as an angarka and peshwaj which is similar to a loose coat and wadded with cotton. Variations. <inaudible> 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 Sometimes women replaced the southern with a churidar pajama, a tradition noted by Baden Powell in 1872 in his book Hand Book of the Manufactures and Arts of the Punjab, which would then be covered with a Punjabi gagra when going outdoors. The Punjabi gagra has its origins in the kandataka, which continued as a popular female dress in the 7th century. The use of the svasthana was also popular in this period. However, the kandataka ended at the thighs and the svasthana may have been used to cover the lower legs thus giving rise to the tradition of wearing the gagra and the southern together. Older Punjabi women wore churidar pajama and long kurta. These different styles were popular during the 1960s in East Punjab. Certain members of the Punjabi community, however, were wearing the southern and kurti on its own without the Punjabi gagra, a tradition documented in the Gazetteer of Hoshiarpur district 1883 84 and also in the 1915 Hisar Gazetteer Punjabi women and men also wore the gutana, a type of pajama which was shorter than the full length pajama, and was tight and ended at the calf, although the use of the southern subsequently spread to the Jammu area of the Punjab. Punjab region, Sindh where it was not traditionally worn and Kashmir, in the plains of the Punjab region, the southern was replaced with the Punjabi version of the salwar and the Punjabi kameez which gained more and more popularity during the 1960s. Topic. Punjabi Southern Suit Revival In recent years, the Punjabi Southern Suit has been revived. However, the pleats fall in a varit of ways and the ankle band is not as tight as the traditional Punjabi southern. <inaudible> Punjabi salwar suit <inaudible> Punjabi salwar In its strictest sense, the salwar is baggy and loose straight down the legs, and gathered loosely at the ankles. During the medieval period, people adopted the Iraqi style of salwar in Multan and neighboring Sindh. This type of salwar is traditionally very baggy and gathered at the ankles. It is still worn by the Kurdish community in Iraq. The presence of the baggy salwar was noted by Al-Biruni in the 11th century AD and continued to be in vogue between the 16th and 18th centuries CE in Multanth Multani salwar is similar to the loose Punjabi southern. Therefore, the distinction between the loose Punjabi southern and the loose Multani salwar is fine and centers on the tight ankle band in the southern, and on the southern beginning to fit closer to the legs below the knees. The original Punjabi loose salwar was not as baggy as the Multani style but was wide, with the gathering at the ankles being wide enough to cover the feet. Originally, up to 10 yards of cloth was used to make Punjabi salwars. The original Punjabi salwar was also not as baggy as other forms of the salwar, such as the type worn in Afghanistan Partug, the Balochi salwar, or the loose Punjabi southern, and gathers more quickly below the knees and ends in a tight band. Eventually the modern Punjabi salwar came into being which is slim fitting and does not have wide ends as before. Another style of salwar is the Pathohari salwar of the Pathohar area of the Punjab region. The Pathohari salwar retains the wideness of the Punjabi southern. The kameez is also wide. The chunni is a remnant of the large shadar popular in West Punjab known as salari and the large full kari worn in various areas of the Punjab region. However, the Pathohari salwar suit did not attain universal acceptance. The Bahawalpuri salwar is also wide and baggy with many folds. The material traditionally used for the Bahawalpuri shalwar and southern is known as Sufi which is a mixture of cotton warp mixed with silk weft and gold threads running down the material. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <inaudible> Punjabi kameez. The Punjabi kameez is also cut straight with side slits. This combination makes up the Punjab salwar suit outfit, which is very popular and was developed in the Punjab region. The Punjabi ghagra is now rarely worn. Before the development of the Punjabi salwar suit, the traditional dress of women of Punjab was the Punjabi ghagra, Punjabi southern and choli, kurti, kameez. Topic: <laughs> Female dress, Punjabi salwar suit. The Punjabi salwar suit is worn in the Punjab in India and Pakistan. It consists of the chunni head scarf, jaga kameez, and the salwar when worn by women. The chunni can be of varying lengths. The jaga kameez is made up of two rectangular pieces sewn together with side slits, similar to a tunic. A kurta is also worn. The salwar is similar to pajamas or pants, wide at the top and tightened loosely around the ankles with hard material, called panche. In the Punjab, the salwar kameez is also known as the chunni jaga salwar suit. Male dress, Punjabi salwar suit In some parts of the Punjab region, especially the urban areas of Punjab, Pakistan, males wear the men's Punjabi suit. The upper garment is made of the straight-cut kurta, kameez and the salwar resembles a slim-fit pajama. In the past, the southern was also commonly worn by men, a trend which can still be seen in some parts of the region especially Jammu and Himachal Pradesh. Early history <inaudible> Salwar Salwar is the generic term used to describe the lower garment developed in different regions. The earliest form of the salwar originated in Central Asia and its use was spread to Afghanistan, India, Iran, the Arab world, Turkey and wherever the Turks established their empires. The Ottomans spread the use of the salwar throughout its empire. The use of the salwar in the Punjab region has been the result of influences from the Middle East, Central Asian Turks, and finally, the Afghans. In India, the term salwar includes the Sindhi Southern, Punjabi Southern, Dagri Pajama, and the Churidar. The term salwar kameez also includes the Kashmiri Firan, Southern outfit. In the Punjab region, the salwar was made using a large amount of material but had no pleats or folds. The large salwar eventually gave rise to the Punjabi salwar. Topic: <inaudible> Jaga kameez. In Turkic Central Asian culture, the salwar is accompanied by a tunic, forming the upper garment. In the Punjab region, the upper garment is the jaga kameez. The Ghaznavid Turks popularized the salwar tunic attire in Afghanistan and northern India, especially in the Punjab region. Topic: <laughs> Other areas. The use of the southern or the salwar has been adopted in other areas. People in Jammu have changed the traditional attire from the peshwaj flowing to the ankles to the kurta and dagri southern. In addition to the traditional lenga choli, women in Sindh wear the cholo and southern. The Punjabi salwar suit is also worn by many people. The firan in Kashmir traditionally flowed to the ankles, is now of varying lengths and is worn with a loose southern. Kashyap Banda is regarded as the person responsible for spreading the use of the southern with the firan amongst the communities that resisted to adopt its use, eventually leading to the use of the salwar. However, the traditional Kashmiri southern is loose, similar to the styles worn in Afghanistan with some wearing styles similar to the Dagri southern. The Punjabi salwar suit has also become popular. Elsewhere in India and Pakistan, Muslim communities have traditionally worn the style of salwar worn by the Mughals, combining them with Mughal upper garments such as the jama. However, the Punjabi salwar suit is now worn by members of various communities in India and Pakistan. The traditional male dress in Bangladesh is the lungi and kurta also called Punjabi. Men also wear the patani suit. The traditional female dress is the sari but women also wear the Punjabi salwar suit. The salwar is a traditional garment in Afghanistan worn by men as the ket partug outfit. The ket is the tunic, similar to a robe and the pertog is the Afghanistan salwar, with multiple pleats. 
The male dress also includes the Parahan tunban. The Patani suit has become popular since the 1990s. The female Punjabi suit is also popular in Afghanistan which is called the Punjabi. See also Sariki Shalwar suits Sindhi dress Jammu dress Firan Ket Partug Parahan Tunban